Well, a good Tuesday evening, everyone. We're heading into the evening hours still very mild. Temperatures haven't changed all that much in the past hour. So 91 in Raynell, 89 in Pipestem. Over in the coal fields, still in the 90s. And we're not getting any relief, it looks like, as we head into the evening hours. The humidity still up there as well. Dew points in the upper 60s to low 70s, signaling that we're pretty humid compared to what we have been. So looks like we're going to stick with the humidity and the hot temperatures, at least as we head into tomorrow before we see any sort of cool down. There's no, nothing in the form of rain to bring us any relief. There's a couple of spotty showers down in Tazewell County, but besides that, we had a little bit up in Greenbrier and Pocahontas County, but our western counties from Nicholas down through Fayette, Raleigh, and the coal fields, no relief as, as of right now, but that might change as we head over the next couple of days, you see this system out to the west. It's going to bring a cold front our way. It's going to trigger some possibly severe storms as we head into the day on your Wednesday. Now, as we go overnight tonight, we're looking good right now. Temperature still very mild as we head into the overnight hours and into the beginning of your Wednesday. Still sunny. A couple of clouds start to form, and then you see really starts to fill in on the radar. This is late in the afternoon, early evening as we head into Wednesday. And you can see just west of us those yellow, reds, oranges, dark reds. You can see those. Those are going to make their way through our area. And we're going to see some widespread coverage as we head into Wednesday. This is still late in the evening. Wednesday, we still have this coverage of some heavier rains. Some of these could be severe. We could see some gusty winds, heavy rainfall. Can't rule out some localized flooding with these and possibly some small hail as well as we head into the day Wednesday. Thursday, it looks to be a little less widespread. Again, we can't rule out a possible strong storm, but probably not as, mu as many severe storms as we head into the day on Thursday. Today, we had a slight risk. Not really anywhere saw much of anything, but tomorrow we have that, we have that elevated slight, that slight risk in the yellow. And as we head into tomorrow, we'll see the better chance for some severe storms. Thursday, not much of anything. We, do, we could see some heavy rainfall causing some flooding. You could see upwards of a couple of inches in some spots with those heavier pockets and heavier bands of rain as they swing, swing through the day on Wednesday. Tomorrow looks to be the day when we get the heaviest rainfall. So do stay weather aware as you head into the day on Wednesday. Temperatures tonight, we're in the 60s and low 70s, so mild and humid. 71 in Mullins, 69 in Princeton, 71 in Welch, 69 in Mount Hope. So a mild night ahead. We keep these mild temperatures humid and hot as we head towards Friday. We start to cool down, drier weather, and less humid as we head into the weekend.